Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I am here to do an unboxing. As usual for every month, today I'm going to be unboxing Owl Crate. This is the September Owl Crate box. The theme was mythical creatures, and I cannot wait to see everything that is inside. If you are interested in getting your own Owl Crate box, you can use my promo code PROBLEMS, and that will give you 15% off at checkout, so be sure to use that code, and let's just jump in and open this up. All right, we're opening. Ah, there we go. So the first thing that's on here is the information card for the box. But I'm not going to look at the back of this because it has spoilers for everything that's inside, so I'm going to set this aside and grab the first thing off the top of the box. Let's grab... Ooh, okay, so this is fantastic. This is Son of Poseidon bath salts. Son of Poseidon, by the way, that's Percy Jackson and the Olympian, and it's eucalyptus tea and it's, it's bath salts. I wanna smell them, let's see. Ooh, I like the smell of it. Okay. This was made by the shop The Soap Librarian and I take a lot of baths, like a lot of baths, so this will definitely be of use. The next thing that I grabbed off the top appears to be a dragon coin purse, maybe? Yeah, that seems to be exactly what this is. There are little dragons on it. It's a teeny tiny little baby zippered bag, I would say. Coin purse is how I would define this size of bag. It is super adorable. I think we can all agree on that. I love dragons, so this is probably a really good box for me. I'm a fan of dragons. The next thing in here is a beautiful bookmark. This is a wood bookmark from Ink and Wonder Designs. They make beautiful, beautiful bookmarks and I mean, it's Game of Thrones. So it says, I am the blood of the dragon with, oh, I assume Daenerys and dragons on here. I haven't read A Song of Ice and Fire, but I'm obsessed with the TV show. Actually, if you wanna hear more about my thoughts about the most recent season, I recently did a video about that. You can go check it out, but this is a gorgeous bookmark. And I was really worried. I've always thought with like the wood bookmarks that they were gonna end up being really thick. And so I've been kind of turned off by them, but this is like as thin as some of my paper bookmarks. It's not even gonna be a problem. So we learned new things today about wooden bookmarks. The next thing in here is a thing we were told about as a spoiler in the last box. It is from Bookbow. So this is basically a book sleeve. It's a thing that you put your book in to show you. I'm gonna use the book from last month's Owl Crate and I'll show you how it goes inside. See, just goes right on in there. Acts as a protective sleeve for your book. Plus it's pretty so you can take lots of pictures of it. I'm sure that will appeal to bookstagram people. It's a nice book right on inside so that you're not in fear of damaging the book. Also, this has some great picks for mythical creatures. We've got a unicorn and a mermaid. And if there's anything I love more than dragons, it's mermaids. It's mermaids. Next up, we have this month's pin. So here is the pin that came for this month's Owl Crate. There is a pin every single month. They are unique to each Owl Crate box and they go to match with the card that you get that month. So that is the Mythical Creatures one. Oh, oh my God. So we've got a sticker. It's adorable. This is a die cut sticker by Suzanne Draws and it is Hagrid and Buckbeak and I love it. I'm literally staring at the back of my laptop where it's sitting on my bed and trying to figure out which one of those stickers I'm going to take off so I can put this on. This is so cute. Look at this version of Hagrid. He's got, he's got his little umbrella tucked into his belt. They're hugging. This is so cute. I just, I can't even deal with this. I love this so much. And the last thing in this Owl Crate box is of course the book, which is Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. I can't quite figure out what's different about this cover, but there's something that's definitely different about it. Owl Crate always gets exclusive covers and you can only get this, these covers if you order Owl Crate. And I think it's the snake that turns into an S. It looks different than the other cover I've seen. So Before She Ignites is about a girl named Mira who has always been called Hopebringer. She has been known across a place called the Fallen Isles for the fact that there's like a peace treaty that was named after her. And then she finds out a secret about that peace treaty and things go drastically wrong. She's thrown into prison. This book is also magical. There are dragons involved. It says that she's 
far too interested in dragons for a girl of her station, so I don't know what that means, but dragons are there. And that is Before She Ignites, which did come with a few other things. As usual, a note from the author, which has some nice art from the cover of the book on the back. Also, the usual, we have a signed book plate to go along with the book. But the book also came with an extra special little something. It's Dragons of the Fallen Isles, a guide. So this is a teeny tiny book about the dragons that are in Before She Ignites. Like, that's so cute. I love that. I love dragons. Oh, I really like this little bonus thing. And in the bottom of this box, I have located another item which appears to be a teeny tiny little book about this month's owl crate. I have never seen this before. So it looks like it includes an interview with the author. Oh, which includes a guide to how the book is exclusive. It is different. It's because the snake is gold, not silver. There's also a themed word search and recommendations for other dragon books. Interviews with the book bow people. Photo challenge stuff. Stuff about the October box. This is definitely a new item and I'm a huge fan of it. I love this edition. But yeah, that is everything that came in this month's Owl Crate besides stuff that I'm going to talk about that's going to be spoilers and hints for next month's box, the October box, which I am like so excited for. So the theme of the October box is going to be Find Me in the Forest. And next month's box is going to include a candle, which I am so thrilled about. What's the brand of these? from uh, In the Wick of Time. In the Wick of Time is the type of candle that's going to be included in here. I am thrilled about it. This also has some other bonus information that I have to share to explain to you why I'm so excited about this box. The book is going to be a magical realism book about family and curses. I already know what it is. It's one of the reasons I'm so thrilled. Also, I'm really excited to see what the exclusive cover for that's going to look like because the cover's already beautiful, so I'm really interested. But it is going to include stuff from Harry Potter, The Raven Boys, Robin Hood, Princess Mononoke, and Where the Wild Things Are. I haven't ever seen Owlcrate send out something Raven Boys themed, and clearly my love is at a high right now, so I'm so excited about this. One other spoiler, they said on Instagram they're also sending out a mug. A mug and a candle in one box. It's like October's my birthday. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it. That is everything that came in the September Owl Crate box. What did you think of everything that came inside? Please let me know down in the comments below. Are you also excited about the October box? I am like peak thrilled right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.